G'day guys, Sci-Fi back yet again. Two videos in one night, fantastic. All right, yes, another brand new figure. New character, unreal. Well, not new, but still. It's not bad, it's very cool. Star Wars, Asajj Ventress from the Clone Wars. I'm gonna say this one's mainly based on the uh, newer episodes that you see her in, it's fantastic. That artwork is brilliant, this is Number seven. There we go. Assassin Trainer, the way of the dark side, but Count Duke of Asar's interest. Yearn to be considered a true Sith, but such status wasn't allowed under the Sith's rule of two. There we go. Nice, beautiful card artwork. Um, <clears throat> just one question I'll keep thinking about. Um, yeah, the Black Series. Why are we still calling it the Black Series? I mean, we've got some nice, great colour in it now. Let's just call it the six inch series. But anyways, whatever. I was just thinking about it just, just before. <laughs> just off the top of my head. They've all got brilliant colours now and yeah the figures are still the same. They're just six inch. They're not in black cards. But anyways, enough of me griping on. Wonderful artwork. I wonder who does it. Anyway, oh, Shizer. You didn't see that. Well, you only heard it. So there we go. Holy dooly. She is frightening. How mad is that? And some brilliant colours too. Vibrant and... Yeah. That is incredible. Those eyes, they stare straight through you. One of my nurses at work has eyes like that. You think you frightened of her but no nah, she's a lovely lovely lady yeah without all the makeup though but yeah Asajj Ventress how cool this is probably what she looked like more towards um <clears throat> uh, more towards season five at the end when she ran away and had um Barris Alfie is that her name yeah Luminara Unduli's uh Padawan yeah what happened there I get to see it's an unfinished story. Here's hoping, and it's also another thing, just thinking off the top of my head, maybe. It's probably been mentioned before. Um, yeah, we see her come back in the new TV series Ahsoka. That'll be great. Wow. Who would be the actor, actress to play her? Because she's astounding. Now, this is incredible. These crazy looking Sith tats. No shine there, no. This is one figure, when I saw, I saw a pic on Instagram a few months back, or last year maybe, I thought, why her? Why not? New figure. New figure indeed. Okay. Great addition to the collection. And there are her sabres. Very similar to her master. Darth Sidious, except she's got two, and they join together, like so, you can make one, like more, crazy cool, that's a good way to display if you want to, but I probably won't, I'll probably display her like I see her in a <coughs> TV show, she has a different sort of lightsaber stance, instead of holding them forward, holds them behind her, and attacks from that way. All right, very, very cool. I'll have to get her into a display and whack it on Instagram as well. But I'm just astounded by this. Yeah, the soft goods are amazing. I mean, yeah, I think Snoke got a bit of a got the same um, same fashion director said so instead of blue, make it gold. And also, I have a comparison. Just one. So there we go. Here's an old, original... God, I want to get her in focus. There we go. This was back in 2003, when the old, original, hand-drawn... What's his name? Jendi Tarkovsky. Did the old, there was two seasons of that, which is now on Disney+, Plus, I believe. 
Yeah, so they had two versions of her, two versions of Dirge, Dooku, Sidious, Kenobi, Skywalker, Windu. Yeah, so you had your not your like the ones that look like real life people. Then you had the weird, jutted, angular, extremely long neck. I mean, yeah, okay, Asajj Ventress is definitely not human. Her neck is much longer than a normal human. It's more like the Karing tribe in Burma. They, have, they can put those big coils around their neck to make their necks longer. That's like her. And the other action figure of her that came out around the same time was, well, how should we say, more cartoonish. Even the eyes are very evil dead, no pupils whatsoever. Yeah, this is her, but different clothing, of course. It's not bad. Can't bend the elbows. I don't know. Just a thick... And pull it soft goods, yeah. Thick cape. Yeah, it was a good figure back in the day. It's not bad. I've still got a whole ton of old Clone Wars figures like her. But there we are. I am impressed. I like it. Glad they made her. wonder who else they're going to do in the Clone Wars. That's new. Hasn't been redone, retooled. I really dig it. So there we go. Okay, who do you think should come up next in the Clone Wars? Or any Black Series? I mean, there's a few more on its way. New Bad Batch figures and whatnot. And TVC, what else? Yeah. Got a few online that are coming up. And yeah, here's hoping we see Asajj Ventress in the new Ahsoka show, whenever that comes out. Does anyone know? Drop a comment down below, please. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, more videos coming up shortly. Probably not, probably in the next week or so. We'll see. So yeah, okay, there we are. Comparisons and a fantastic... I love this figure. She is incredible. Paint job. They did not muck around, did they? Perfect. Alright guys, sci-fi out. And the force is with you, always.